Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an expense tracking dashboard in Microsoft Power BI. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this beautiful dashboard and this is the overview page of this dashboard. Here we are showing different slicer on the top side, like you can select year for which year you want to see the data or the information. And you can select the month also, the category, then the department, the payment method, you can select let's say bank transfer or whatever you select, automatically the whole page will be filtered. Here we have the project, so you can select project also. On the top we are showing the current year expenses, then this is the previous year expenses and here we have the variance in the current and previous year and this is the variance percentage. In this chart, we are showing the current year expenses by the category and if you select any category here, the whole page will be filtered again. You can see the different information like uh, what is the variance percentage and you can also see the by TD information for that selected category. This is the by TD expense you can see here. We have selected the year already. If you click again, it will filter out. This is by project and here we have by department, the current year versus previous year and this is the by TD numbers. Now on the top we have given the page navigation, this is the overview page. To go to the expense trend analysis, you can click on this button. Now this is the expense trend analysis page and we are showing here current year versus previous year trend. So you can see the month on month. What is the expense this year in this month and what was in previous month. Then we are showing the current year expense by the payment method. So you can see how much we have paid by bank transfer, by cash, credit card or PayPal. So we are giving this whole information here. We are showing the trend by week also because we have selected a year here on the top. So we are giving all the week you can quickly see how much we are spending week on week. Let us go to the third page which is department and employee analysis. In this page we are showing the department wise trend and you can see the current year versus previous year as well as the variance percentage from the previous year. So you can see it can be negative or it can be positive also. If it is negative that means we are doing good. Uh, this year we have the less expense in compare of the previous year. And in this table, we are showing department and the employee. So if you select any of the department and then you can see all of the employee for the current year. So the details are available here in this table. Let's go to the category and the vendor analysis. Here we are showing the current year versus previous year by category. And this is the current year versus previous year by vendor. All right. Now let me show you how we have created in Power BI desktop application. So let us flip to the Power BI desktop application window. So this is the dashboard which we have created here. I will also show you the data. We have this data wherein we have the date, then the category, then the amount. Here we have the payment method, department, employee, and here we have project, vendor and the remarks. Okay. This is some dummy data which we are using. Using this data, we have created this dashboard in the Power BI desktop application. This is a ready to use dashboard and you can input your data in that template. You can just refresh it and you will get your information. Now let me show you the data first. So here we have this data. You can see this is the data we just have loaded. And then we have created one calculated table which is the calendar table. And we are creating this on the basis of minimum and the maximum date available in the data table. We have used here calendar function, this one, then using the add columns, we are adding more columns like month number, month name, quarter, week and week number. Okay. Now we have created this major table also wherein we are showing the current year expenses, CY expenses, which is just the sum of amount column. Then we are taking the previous year expenses, which is just the sum of amount column using the calculate and then we are applying a filter using the date add formula and we are using here minus 12 and the interval we are using month. So minus 12 month, it will give you the previous year information and the YTD. So we are using the total YTD formula sum of amount then the date we are using the calendar date. 
and uh, here we have the current year versus previous year which is nothing but cy expenses minus by expenses and this is the divide function because we are using the variance of the cy versus py so cy versus py variance divided by py expenses in the relationship we have created the relationship between the calendar table and the data so we have just created this relationship you can see all right now once all set then uh, we have created this design on the top this one we have created a simple rectangle then this is the page navigation which you can insert from insert buttons and navigator then page navigator okay so this is the page navigator and the shape which we have taken let me show you you can just go to the shape and here we have taken this shape the second one all right and then we have given some style also for the default we have given this color and you can just choose the selected also so you can see for the selected we have given this color okay so this is selected so that is how we have created this navigation then we have created these simple slicer slicers we are taking from for month we are taking here and year also we are taking from the calendar table but for the category department and the other one we are taking from the data table okay you can see that now these are the cards so we have used this new card here this one and on the card we are just showing the cy expenses then here we are showing the py expenses and this is the cy versus py so these all are majors which we have already created we are just showing here on the card this is the tree map we are taking from here and in the category we have put the category which is available here in the data and then cy expenses we are using from calculation this is donut chart we can take it from here and we are showing here project and the cy expenses and this is by department and this is the cluster bar chart on the y axis we are showing the department x axis cy expenses and the py expenses now here we are showing the by td expenses so we have already created this by td expenses major and this is the line chart we can see we have just taken the shaded area so here we are showing the month name from the calendar and ytd expenses from the major all right and in the formatting here you can just on this data level as well as the shaded area this one just on it if you on or off it will be changed like this now let's go to the second page which is the expense and trend page so we just have made make it duplicate and uh, then we just have changed the these chart only the slicer navigation will remain same here we are taking this line chart or the area chart this one and we just have created month by c by py and here we are taking the month you can see this is month wise this is the chart which is the 100% stack column chart and we have used some formatting here so in the 100% column chart you can formatting inside the formatting you can use the ribbons so just on this if you use the normal one it will look like this if you on the ribbon it will look like this okay so here we have taken the month name on the x axis on the y axis current year expenses and in the legend we have used the payment method here this is the beak wise trend so we are showing the beak and the cy expenses on this cluster column all right now next is the department and employee analysis so this is again the same thing we just have changed these two chart so this is the current year expenses previous year expenses and the variance percentage so we have taken this chart which is the line and cluster column combo chart and here we are using the department on the x axis then on the y axis we are taking two things py and the cy expenses then we have here line option also because this is a combo chart so on the line we are taking the percentage of the cy and py variance all right so we have created this chart this is the table visual this one and we are simply taking the department employee and the current year expenses this one okay the last one is the category and the vendor analysis and here again we have only two chart two new chart rest information is the same one so we are taking here previous year 
expenses current year expenses by the category so this is the column chart you can see this one this is the cluster column chart so what we have done we have taken the x axis as category on the y axis py expenses and the cy expenses and this is the by bender and this time we are taking the cluster bar chart this is also the same chart we are taking bender in the y axis py expenses and the cy expenses on the x axis that is how we have created this particular dashboard and you can use it friends uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching